This is the fourth video. This is about something called the random walk. Now, earlier on, when I was talking about kinetic theory, I said we ignored the interactions between particles. Well, if you looked at a gas particle, it would actually be doing something like this. It would be bouncing around many, many times a second, banging into other gas molecules. And each time it bangs, it exchanges kinetic energy. It, it speeds up or slows down uh, in an elastic collision, but these particles banging into each other are exchanging kinetic energy. And so any particular particle is going to do what we call a random walk, bouncing around in three dimensions, something like this. Now, if the number of collisions per second is n, and we're going to work out what that is in a, a minute or so, then you can show mathematically that the distance traveled is proportional to the square root of n. So n collisions per second, the distance traveled is proportional to the square root of n. The mean free path is the average distance traveled between collisions. If you look at the diagram of the random walk, the distance between the collisions varies quite a bit. Now, d bar is called the mean free path. That's the average distance, the mean distance traveled between collisions. And it's typically about 100 nanometers, 100 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. So uh, if the RMS speed of an air molecule is about 500 meters per second, then how many times does it collide with other particles? Uh, and the answer is uh, a lot. If you divide 500 meters by the mean free path, you get five times 10 to the nine. And that means that on average, an air molecule will collide with another air molecule five billion times a second. Five times 10 to the nine times a second. That's lots of collisions. So the average velocity of an air molecule, you know, how far does it actually travel, uh, is the distance traveled per second. So that is root n, the square root of the number of collisions times the mean free path. So that's the square root of five times 10 to the nine times 100 nanometers. And we get 7.1 millimeters per second. So the average velocity of your air molecules in terms of getting from A to B it isn't very much. It's about 7.1 millimeters per second. They are moving very quickly, but they're bouncing around so much. There are so many collisions every second. They don't go anywhere very fast. Now, one of the things that this explains is diffusion. If somebody sprays some perfume uh, several meters away, then it will take a, a, a little while for you to actually smell it, despite the fact that the perfume molecules have a very, very high RMS speed, their average velocity isn't very much. And it will, despite the fact that your nose is very sensitive, it'll take a while for them to get to you.